up, guys? I need to think of a new thing to say every time I start a video. But it feels right. So I just always say it. Anyway, what's up, guys? So we've got a variation of a scuba doo build. Um, had a customer who wanted something like this a while back. But um, there were so many specific things needed. That it took a while to do, and at some point he said, eh, never mind. And that was the first time somebody's ever said that to me. So, um, I proceeded to continue to do it without him. So, um, he wanted a scuba dude dial. That was in distressed black and orange. So, this is what I came up with. So... Black background, raised scuba dude, did uh, orange uh, pointers on it, did a black seconds hand with an orange um, that's not loomed uh, paint dial there. And then I did a mixed Cerakote. So we did black and we did orange on here. And then we scuffed off one layer to expose the other layer. So we did it on the case, on the SS, did scuba dude there. Then we did it on the crown. And then for the bezel, I wanted it nice and clean, just to make sure it's easy, easily red. So, um, black Cerakote, and then an orange inlay Cerakote there. And then smaller window exhibition case back, black rotor, stainless steel movement holder. And that's this build. So, somebody's gonna get it, and somebody's gonna love it. So, bezel will move left, bezel will move right, it does not click, it just aligns. Automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder to keep time, but if it's dead, you need to pre-wind it, and how you do that is you back the threads off until you hear it clicking. At that point, you can wind, and a wind is this direction. This way does nothing, but it's a lot easier to wind back and forth. If you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you will keep it running. If you do it for something closer to uh, 20 seconds, you're going to max out your power reserve. Which is what I tried to do, but I built it two days ago. So it had died on the night on me. So I started moving it around. So <clears throat> we'll max it out a little bit. So just to show you a couple of things on this, because we've got a date wheel. How do we do a date wheel? Where's the quick date wheel set? There's not one of those. So if we pull it out to the one and only click, we can now set the time. And it might advance. There we go. Three o'clock. I'm sorry, or three uh, on the day three. So what is today? The 16th? So what if we need to get it up to 16? Well, that's a bit of a process. As you wind it backwards... You get around 9, you see that date wheel going up in the air, and it's going to drop back down. When it drops back down, you're safe to advance it forward. I just roll it up to 8, just to be safe. And you're 4. It's not a hacking movement, so that hand's going to keep going. And sometimes it does that jump. So, 5. 6. Seven. So if you're wearing it all the time, you won't have to worry about this, right? But on those 28-day or 30-day months, you can do the 24-hour, just spin around if you want. Or you can do like this. So I can understand it's a bit frustrating, but if you consider that some people only wear one watch, and they don't have a plethora of watches like a lot of us do these days, this wasn't really a burden. 12 and the platform these are built on is essentially the same as it's always been no need to fix what's not broke so 14 you're almost there 15 now this has a wobble crown so it is deflecting lateral pressure on the movement you can see it's there's some play in there 
that's not going to transfer that uh, pushing into the into the stem into the movement. Um, okay, Google, what time is it? It's twelve twenty-five p.m. It's twelve twenty-five p.m. Also makes it nice and easy to push right back over and thread down. So there's the watch. That's how you advance the time. I'm glad I could show it to you because a lot of times I do that, and then when it's video time. I've already done it, and I don't feel like doing 31 days uh, just to advance it one day to show people. So um, that's how you advance that forward. This is the watch build as a whole. As always, it comes with matching beats. And this one actually has a dial matching custom box. And this build will come with watch cleaner, which is good on all glass and metal parts. So this whole watch, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. And it's going to have some fine scratch remover, which is Novus 2 from Amazon repackaged. Essentially the same thing as Poly Watch. This is an acrylic glass, and you can scratch it. If you do, put a tiny bit up. Man, you put a tiny bit on there and buff against it, uh, fill in that scratch, and then generate some heat with your thumb, uh, polishing it and uh, you will knock that out in about 15 seconds. And also, only use what you need, otherwise you're gonna soak a lot into your rag, you're gonna push it, you don't wanna push it up under your bezel. You're gonna have to use canned air to get it out, and all that jazz, so just use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit and buff it out. So that's the build. Um, it's gonna be exciting when he sees what he, uh, what he passed on, but um, we didn't really necessarily pass on it. He didn't like how long it was taking. Um, so, I said, hey, that's all right. No worries for me. Um, that's a good idea. I'll build it myself. So um, that's the build. Hopefully you guys love it. Somebody's possibly going to get it today. Um, so if you like uh, watches like this, reach out. I'll see what I can do for you. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.